Good day and welcome to another episode of Your Money Moment. I'm your host Moritz Oberholzer and today we're diving deep into a topic that affects millions of South Africans, credit cards. While they can be useful sometimes, they also are the traps that can ensnare the unwary. So buckle up and get ready as we unveil the five biggest traps of credit cards. Trap number one, the minimum payment illusion. Picture this, you receive your credit card statement and it shows a minimum payment due. It might seem tempting to you to pay just that amount, thinking that you're staying afloat. But here's the harsh reality. Making minimum payments can keep you trapped in a cycle of debt for years, and the interest rate can skyrocket. To illustrate this, let's take a hypothetical scenario. Imagine you have a credit card balance of 10,000 Rand with an interest rate of 20% per annum. If you only pay the minimum, which is typically around 3-5% to of your balance, you might think that you're doing okay. However, let's crunch the numbers. On the 10,000 Rand, after the first month, you'd owed 300 Rand in interest, leaving you with 9,700 Rand. But here's the kicker. If you continue making only the minimum payments, it would take you a staggering 14 years and 2 months to pay off that 10,000 Rand debt. Plus, you'd end up shelling out a jaw-dropping 15,929 Rand in interest alone. Yes, you heard that right. By succumbing to the minimum payment trap, you are not just only prolonging your debt, but also paying off a hefty premium for it. So next time you're tempted to pay only the minimum, think twice and consider the long-term consequences. Trap number two, the allure of rewards and perks. Credit card companies offer entire customers with tantalizing rewards such as cashback, travel miles or discounts. While these perks can be enticing, they can also lead to overspending in pursuit of rewards. Before you know it, you're cracking up debt just to earn points. Trap number 3. The hidden fees and charges. Credit cards may come with a plethora of fees, including annual fees, late payment fees, cash advance fees and foreign transaction fees. These fees can quickly add up, eating into your finances without you even realizing it. Trap number four, the debt spiral. It's easy to get caught in a downward spiral of debt with credit cards. As you accumulate more debt, your minimum payments increase, making it even harder to break free. Before you know it, you're drowning in debt and struggling to make ends meet. And finally, trap number five, the temptation of impulse spending. Credit cards make it effortless to make impulse purchases with just a swipe. However, these impulse impulse buys can quickly add up, leaving you with a hefty bill at the end of the month. Lastly, it's always interesting to me that people are always shopping around for the best deal, the best interest rate, all those things, but then they go and spend on credit cards like they are people in parliament, which is just a weird way of extending their normal spending patterns in a month. Make no mistake, a credit card is a loan and people are always talking about they don't want to put things on loan but a credit card is 100% a loan at 20% minimum interest rate. So think before you start using a credit card. Well that's it from me for this week, the 5 biggest traps of credit cards. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to managing your finances. Stay tuned for more financial insights and tips to help you navigate the complex world of money. Until next time, catch me same time, same place. When you're navigating through life's big events, like buying a home, starting a family, or approaching retirement, you need sound and impartial financial advice. Moritz Oberholzer, a financial advisor at Stonas Capital, specializes in personal financial planning. Visit moritzoberholzer.co.za or call 082-774-1996. For practical and easy to understand advice and tips, don't miss your money moment with Moritz Oberholzer, Thursday mornings at 10 on e-radio.